Welcome, welcome. As a lot of you may know, this year is Pokemon's 25th anniversary. And as I always say, because I was born in 95, it was copyrighted in 95. But anyway, we are celebrating the 25th anniversary of Pokemon this year. And even better, we're celebrating it on a Saturday, which for me would largely be on a Sunday because Australia and as the rest of the world wakes up, we'll do most of the celebrations on Saturday. But I don't mind, that means a whole weekend of Pokemon goodness. And I'm so excited. And so I want to create the hashtag for Pokemon 25 resolutions. These don't actually have to be 25 resolutions, but more so just stuff you want to do for the 25th anniversary. If that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. So without further ado, let's go. So the first thing that I want to do, like one of my goals, I need to finish Crown of Tundra. In fact, I need to start playing Crown of Tundra. I'm so sorry, please forgive me. I was so excited for Crown of Tundra. I love ice Pokemon. I love like anything to do with like ice. I mean, my channel's name is the Crystal Badge. Um, I love the aesthetic of it. I don't live anywhere close to ice, but it is something uh, that I really enjoy from like an artistic perspective. However, Crown of Tundra came out when I had my final year group thesis due and I had practical exams for speech pathology and it was just a very, very busy time. And by the time the holidays came around, I was very keen to start playing Pokemon Black. It's something that my friend and I, Sugar Bandit, had been talking about for the last three, four months maybe, was that I've never played Pokemon Black or White, and she has. So she said, why don't I play Pokemon Black and she plays Pokemon White, and then we can have an authentic Pokemon DS experience, so we can trade Pokemon to each other and uh, just explore the world together. And I was so excited for that because I never played the Unova games, which I'll talk about on my channel some other time, uh, why that is. And yeah, I was just so keen for that that I didn't get back to Crown of Tundra. Now I still haven't played it months after its release and I'm very disappointed. <laughs> Number two. So following on from Crown of Tundra, I want to play Pokemon Snap when it comes out, the new Pokemon Snap, because I have never actually played it, like the original, uh, and oh, after seeing that beautiful, beautiful trailer that came out, I love the Pokemon AR feature in Pokemon Go, I take photos all the time, actually that would be probably my next goal is take more Pokemon AR photos because I've been a bit slack and Posting them on Pokemino uh, that I've revisited after a long time uh, sort of reinvigorate my, reinvigorated my excitement to take Pokemon photos again. And therefore I want to play Pokemon Snap when it releases. So hopefully I can finish Pokemon Black before the 30th of April. That's the goal. So number three, already said, Pokemon AR. Number four, speaking of Pokemino, just generally I want to get more involved in the Pokemon community, um, especially the Pokemon YouTuber community uh, that I absolutely adore. And I've, after the last year or two, sort of, I haven't had that much time to interact, um, like on different discords. Uh, my Twitter has been dying the last year, and I think a lot of that's to do with the whole see, like, prioritize, um, like, posts that are not recent, but like the best posts or something. Um, I constantly have to turn mine off for latest posts because I don't want to see the most popular posts. I just want to see all of the posts. Um, but yeah, so um, I guess follow me on Twitter if you like. That's where I'm running my black and white story. Uh, I was going to do a, like a big roleplay video thing for it, but then I realized uh, due to my unfamiliarity with the Unova re region, a project like that would be better to do in a region like Hoenn, Johto, or Alola that I'm a lot more familiar with rather than Unova that I'm exploring for the first time. Originally I thought that would be part of the gimmick of it, but since it's roleplay and you need that level of familiarity, 
I think I'll probably save that for a different game. And number five, I want to do a no nostalgia allowed review of Pokemon Black. So because I haven't played them before, I'm hoping to actually make a review that doesn't encompass points that might have been relevant back then or someone's experiences. And I basically want to write the review and then talk to my good friend Ozimitsu, who is like the Univar connoisseur, and uh, perhaps discuss those points with him and kind of just see, uh, you know, what has changed over the last 10 years because the game came out quite a while ago. And yeah, that's something that um, I'm excited to do for my channel even though a lot of these points aren't related to my channel. So, uh, next goal is I want to rewatch all of the Pokemon movies again and want to sort of rank them within their respective regions. Moving away from the anime for a little bit, in terms of games, I don't know if we'll get Pokemon Unite this year. Uh, I'm not very familiar with a lot of MOBA games like League of Legends or Dota 2 or, or even uh, something like Smite, so I'm excited to see what they do with Pokemon. Um, they kind of sold me on the fact that it wasn't just first generation Pokemon, but a lot of fan favorites. Uh, I hope they expand on that roster. But I'm just excited to see what they come up with and I want to support that even though that's not the regular type of game that I enjoy playing. And speaking of games that I don't usually play, despite this being a Pokemon tag, I would actually like to invest more time in playing games other than Pokemon. I thought I dabbled a bit in it last year, uh, like every now and again, like in the last few years, yes, I would play other games or watch people play other games or play a, even a first person game like Undertale with friends. But generally, I don't have a lot of time for gaming as much as I love like the soundtrack, the art, uh, the whole development. I would like to play a few more JRPGs this year and I found last year starting to dabble in it, like the Atelier series that I would like to make more videos of. Um, I've spoken a bit about it on my Facebook page, just in written form and on Amino. But I have gained a new perspective from playing a lot of other games that at least follow somewhat of a style where Pokemon is from. And I found it quite enlightening. Sometimes it breaks the glass a bit on my expectations of Pokemon and maybe... Maybe that expectation is slightly lower than it should be, uh, but that's a conversation for a whole nother video. Um, and then lastly, and this is the one that I'm most excited for, but also I don't want to be disappointed. Um, last year I was planning a trip to Japan. I've never been to Japan. It's been my dream to visit there since I was like 14, 15. Um, and due to Australia locking its borders, due to the world health crisis, I wasn't able to go, which didn't disappoint me as much because there's a, quite a few things that I still want to do. I want to uh, get better at my actual Japanese and uh, that gives me more time to save. And I graduate, God willing, by the end of the year. So that is my final goal and resolution for the 25th anniversary. I would love to go to the Pokemon Center in Japan. Uh, I don't know if we'll actually be allowed to travel by then. Um, we've been quite strict with our border closures. Um, and although there's some filtering of people in due to studies and work, etc. I'm not sure if that's a realistic goal, but that's definitely at the top of my wish list for this year. So hashtag Pokemon 25 and hashtag Pokemon 25 resolutions. Um, that's what I would love to do. Um, so I'm going to start by tagging Three people, um, you don't have to do this as part of your tag because I know it's sometimes a bit stressful tagging other people. So open tag to everyone if you would like to do this video and tell me what Pokemon experiences you are looking forward to this year. Um, but I'll tag Ozimitsu and Elite Trainer Lini as well as Berkey but Toby actually because he did the once a battle tag and I do love that. I don't know if he'll actually make it because um, I adore Toby but he's a super busy guy. Um, so don't worry about it if you don't get to it, Toby. So, um, so thank you so much for watching. Um, please go check out some of my other videos and leave a comment below um, if you have some specific Pokemon experiences to look forward to. Let the battle for the Crystal Badge begin.